Good evening and welcome back to The Crust, where we have finally managed to complete stage five of seven of the turret, and we just have six and seven to go. We now need to to give the laser turret, the laser gun even, uh, 150 control units, 3,000 dual aluminum, uh, dual aluminum, uh 3450 modular terminals and 350 microprocessors do we have any of those things let's select the laser cargo truck right over there Boom. so at least here uh we have enough microprocessors we almost have enough dual aluminium we have almost enough micros we do have enough of those because we actually have some on the uh belts lots of them on the belts so let's pick the highest one first and do that one and send it and away we go so let's have a look at the base shall we um everything is working rather well uh this is all being backed up here which is fine oh excuse me uh this is all working down here fine this is working down fair this is working down fine i have upgraded many things um i've basically been sat here for quite a while we've only got 390 days left i've been sat here for quite a while just doing whatever contracts come up uh checking things every now and then doing stuff and i've managed to upgrade all these assemblers uh, not all of them just the, these ones here we're doing the module frames to um the highest level uh also i put a module frame a terminal uh, a storage box here because uh, i actually timed it I actually timed it to get from here from this point here all the way along this belt all the way down this belt here all the way down here up the elevator all the way along and into here took 21 days 21 game days 21 or was it 11 days days i think 21 21 game days for the factory producing it to the bots being able to pick it up was 21 days so i put a storage in closer just to get it done um so yeah uh what i mean by um this one there also i have this this ah oh, ah oh, no yes um this happened here as well you notice there's stuff on the floor here um do you remember i put these in here i, I split them this here cool so what i didn't take into account was the fact that this belt uh will now take items that are um for other things so it's going to take um, carbon fiber, it's going to take um, circuits, uh, it's going to take whatever, because I didn't plan that through. I didn't plan that through. Uh, there's no way to filter the outputs of this guy. Yes, there is a way to filter the outputs of this guy. Okay, so I could have filtered this earlier and got this actually working properly, but oh well, that's fine, that's fine. Um, what have you got in you? Can we uh, drop that on the floor? And then say go and you will start running and doing your thing again and wait for the next time for it to block up drop those this is what i said my meant by um uh we've got plenty on the belts i noticed the belt was completely backed up so it made me think that we uh we definitely had enough of these stored there we go okay uh, but i did it here um, and the belt that was coming out of here going into the multiple storage large storage of these it had all sorts of items on it um, and the actual modular terminal belt was backed up way up to here somewhere so it was like ah, ah, something's gone terribly wrong so that was it that was my my bad my bad there so uh okay so what do we what do we need we're slightly lacking dual aluminum um but we're not because dual aluminum is actually full and you see here we've also got loads of stuff on the back look at this this whole belt is completely full to here but on into these two here so we've got more than 2000 so we'll be good we'll be good for doing the things there however something we're not going to be good for is people the very last stage of the laser project requires three level three engineers and one level five scientists so how about we sort that out how about we sort that out so let's come down here um i put in more storages for the uh um, slag gun on here just to, to use it up basically i just just i just needed to get this out of the way because um yeah and it has filling up with ice which is awesome which means our fuel is actually starting to run uh, which makes a nice change um 
I need to find a better way. I need to find a better way of just dealing with slag. So, uh, yeah. Uh, right, let's um, uh, let's flip you over and put you there. Let's come here to life support and let's put an ice melter in this wall here. We're going to use the uh, server room as our uh, temporary storage for um, human beings. Um, do, do, do. So I'm going to put in a small water tank and a small oxygen tank. I'm also going to put in a couple of free fridge, uh, fridges. In fact, we're going to put in um, a large hydroponic farm right there. And we're going to put a fridge in in front of it. Oop. And then we're going to put a fridge in here like that. Uh, and we're going to belt you into there. And let's also belt you into there. Build. Oh, you need power. That's okay. There should be a power source just here. Tap, tap, tap. Badum, badum, badum. Not fussed about them picking up the slag. The bots can do that. It's not a problem there. Uh, so this one wants to be for storing organics. No. Yes. Yep. Um, uh, we're going to get another one of these here. Boom. This one's going to be for storing medicine. And this one's going to be for storing food. Um... Okay. We know there's not enough water to store everything. It's fine. It, it's fine. The water will be coming soon. Don't worry. Uh, so that'll be fine there. We want to have a couple of beds for them. Because they're going to need somewhere to sleep. Uh, let's get a couple of bunk beds going, shall we? Uh, where are the bunk beds? No, nope. uh, the bunk beds will be in life support. That's why. Uh, let's put them here. One. Oh. enough for eight people we're not going to have eight people that's fine urge your contract on the moon no not interested um i think that's all we need i think that is all we need i don't think there's anything else that's actually technically required oh a kitchen we need a kitchen um or oh, a large sofa I should put a large sofa. no uh let's give them somewhere to eat uh let's put that actually put the kitchen in first life support uh, kitchen can go uh, there and then we can have something to eat which will go um, in front of it let's put the big mega table in not that we're going to use a big mega table but that's fine um, you are going to be allowed drop off from bots as well if there's any organics dotted around that we can't use i don't think these are allowed pickups from drones they are allowed pickups from drones oh maybe we don't want that i shouldn't turn these all off i probably did at one point but uh, it's more that i want them to pick up the stuff from above ground or below ground so uh you'll drop off and you'll drop off so you should come and pick up those ones there not enough power. It's not enough power. It's not to do power. It's to do the um, ice coming in. So, okay, and that should be everything we need for it. We just need to hire some of them. Uh, so uh, I'm going to set this to the highest priority so that they come and deal with this one first for anything else. There we go. Everything's running. Let's let the water and the oxygen fill for a little bit, shall we? I don't know if this is enough. Uh, whether this can produce enough for this this room. I'm going to turn off the drop-off on there. Because I feel like the bots are picking it up from the other place and bringing it here. Um, I don't mind them bringing it to this place. Uh, that's fine, but... We have no research to be able to research, so don't worry about it. Okay, there you go. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
that's what we need that's what we need so let's have a look at our colonists uh hiring some colonists shall we and just see what we need we need three level three engineers and a level five scientist one two three four five six seven eight seven one two three four five six seven you'll do uh you've got enough skill there uh you've got enough skill there and that's it so we're gonna need one more engineer okay fine hire them Oop. drop them down somewhere near the entrance to the uh the place there Whoa, and we're gonna get the whole urgent message that the cross is still in active development and and people do weird things but that's fine that's fine we know about that um there's a couple of weird things with these uh, uh first and foremost let's let them come to their place here and we'll have a look see okay so here we go so you'll see they've all got different looks they all look different they all do the thing that's fine uh when you save and reload the game they will all end up looking like the same person so that's that's a well-known thing there um they don't necessarily follow orders correctly they do random things they might not come to the highest point place they might just go off and do something else somewhere else um that's okay that's fine um at least they don't die anymore previously they used to run out of auction in like two seconds flat they don't do that now they're, they're pretty good at holding their breath so yeah uh, you have a colonist assignment button down here you can set what you want them to do um basically if somebody doesn't have a skill in a job you don't really want them doing it you want at least one pip in there um so for instance we're looking here um however your productivity is 205 percent, even though you have no skill but it's because you have many other traits if you mass over it you see all the all the tablets the mental state is good the fullness the courage they're all they're all good so everyone's fine um it's just you see the skill says times 0 0.9 so it's actually lowering down the rate but I, we want them working there. We want them working there. Uh, I'm not sure how often the hiring uh, resets, like how often um, you get new people come in. Oh, it looks like we've got new people straight away now already. Awesome. Um, let's get Jonathan Beard in because he's got both skills. And let's get Kim as well because, oh no, she's not, f oh no, we need level three. So well, uh, I'm just covering the base. I think it's three and one. So, you know, if I get too many people, oh no, what a terrible thing that would be. Okay. Uh, so the other thing as well we could do is we could absolutely steal rovers from elsewhere and assign them to the uh, task of delivering. Uh, oh, you're already on the way with the module terminals. Awesome. Like we could very much wait for this guy to be empty and um steal him for uh delivering down to the latest project we could build another rover if we wanted to i think we're okay with just the one for the minute i think we're okay with just the one yeah right let's speed up time Um, I can't set up an expedition with this one here because I think uh, I don't know what it'll do if I set an expedition up with it whilst it's still delivering so we'll let it deliver first <laughs> we'll let it deliver first uh, we could also go and do this mission as well briefly um, could we got three engineers to fix the Rogan River and we could pick up some stuff not that it really helps but you know it's a it's a choice it's a choice uh, let's do something crazy let's go here zoom <laughs> uh apparently that is a, a known issue which uh, has ruined his head once again but um it's a fun one i like it i like it <laughs> uh, we have no research I wish, that, I wish that wouldn't keep coming up we have no research to do we have done we have done all the research research is done yes <clears throat> okay so i think everybody so we've got four people here 
and then uh, somebody else is going to go work somewhere else. They'll just wander around in the factory and work somewhere doing something. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So, um, shall we steal this rover? Let's steal this rover. Just called generic truck. So, uh, would you come down here? Okay. Um, let's uh, go out to the moon. Oop, let's send you back home again. Uh, let's see out this one here. So let's transport. Let's go cargo truck. Just generic cargo truck. I think it's that. Oh yeah, the idle one. And you can take the drill aluminium, which is not high enough, but go. Uh, I'm also going to pick this again. Pick the laser cargo truck. And uh, I'm going to send the other two with you. Oop. So the, uh, the you should end up in here. We want to pick up 3,000. Uh, as I said, we've got loads on the belts. So we've got 2,000. Uh, that's, that's not the wrong one. Hold on, where is it? Uh, do, 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 uh, this one. So we've got 2,000 stored here. But this belt is backed up all the way to the machines. And the machines have got 32 in each one. So I think we've got 3,000. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's 320 there, plus everything on the belt. Yeah, I reckon we got 3,000. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. He says, hopefully. Um, I still haven't really uh, managed that. This is probably the settlement of uh, the layout of things that we'll do. They end up with, like I think, 10 here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No one here. 14. Um uh yeah um because you never quite know what speed you're gonna get stuff in and out of um from there i've also got this random thing happening here like one of my containers doesn't seem to fill compared to the rest which is weird however everyone is out of um uh, slag which is good i think the slag even here is dropping as well so we have managed to consume all the slag, and that's probably from uh, having all of these guys here, and uh, when they're not fully upgraded, but yeah. Uh, in fact, that is low. That is actually low, which is awesome. It's awesome. So remember, this this is the uh, main container that everything feeds into, and then it runs along here, and it comes up here on a slow belt, and returns on a slow belt. So all these should buffer up. Um, and then it will feed back so it keeps moving so anything that's in this one um, if these are all empty eventually this one will empty back into them so so none of them ever get stuck in storage the only exception to that is down here we've got two stuck in storage here because I just needed to get the slag out of the way to get the ice going so yeah yeah oh, uh, let's go back up here again um how are you doing you are 2700 remember it said we had 2300 or something and uh we're still going here i mean this is not the fastest of uh bosses of belts oh keep pushing x for some reason but yeah the, the belt is still full <laughs> uh ah, the belt has emptied here um but it's emptied here, so yeah, the belt the belt's just about emptied. And uh we have a hundred to go, 150 to go. So um yeah. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good for drill aluminium. Makes a change, makes a change. It was the modular frames, which is the ones I thought it would be. I really thought it would be the modular frames. They're always the ones that seem to catch me out. Um nanotubes was a, a bit but it was mostly mostly uh right. and it's not because we don't have the resources for them they're not expensive to make um titanium plates and smart concrete not expensive to make it's purely the time uh the these are slower than all the rest of them this recipe is slower than the rest of them it's, it's kind of a weird thing it's it, um it, it may be uh, a misrepresentation of something um, or a miss um, a miss tool tip somewhere uh, but generally um, uh, it says in the tool tips to the uh, assembler um, uh, if you let's build one pause game for a minute 
uh, if I come here, so um, if I click that, it says four one and one, right? So it takes four silicon, one carbon fiber, and makes one nanotube in one minute. This one, four one and one. This one, four one and one. This one, three ten and one. Uh, yeah, in one minute, which is fine. However, once this is built, it's different. The, the, these change, these numbers change. So, um, yeah, uh, it's it's a little weird. Uh, the number change. I know this is upgraded to level three, so it's doing um, nine thirty and, and making three a minute. But um, yeah, the numbers. So yeah, so you're doing that. You are a level three and you're making three. You are a level three and you're making six. Even though you should be four, one, and one. Level three is three times the amount. Uh, it's 24, six, and six. So this is doubled compared to this one. So either these getting the buff they shouldn't get, or the assembler making the modular frames are not getting a buff that they should be getting. So I'm, I'm not too sure. Oh, Press all the wrong ones. Uh, I'm not too sure which way around it is. I really hope it's um, it's that these are, are bugged out and they're, they're because you need these more than any other thing. Like you, you do, you need modular frames more than any other thing to make the laser project, and they are the slowest item to make in the game. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. Right. Uh, okay, so one's on this way. Here we go. You're going to do your thing here. You're going to go on your way too. Right. Once you're done, we will send you back. You actually managed to get fuel as well, which is quite nice. Uh, I don't know who you were for. You, were you first assigned to this one or were you assigned to that one? I don't remember. I had two trucks going to each one. It doesn't really matter. We're right here. We're right here. We're at the end. We're in the end game now. Everything should be fine. The RTGs are quite nice. Um, I am I am definitely a fan of the RTGs now. I didn't think they produced enough power, but when you consider they produce power all the time then yeah they, they can be as effective as solar panels uh because they're producing power at night time as well as as daytime so you know in in a lunar month or a lunar day um i should say you'd have to figure out how much power a solar a medium solar panel actually gathers and then you'd have to figure out how much a an rtg actually gathers and see you know which ones which um, I don't know. Well, you probably just have to build a load of batteries, and then plug one solar panel into it when it's night time, and one RTG into it, and um, connect them both at dawn. I suppose would be the best way to do it, or just connect them both at exactly the same time, and wait until that night. But I suppose, I suppose at dawn's the best way to do it because then when sun sets, it's, it's easy enough to, to, to test. So. Uh, Right, uh, you're off. There we go. Okay, you have done that. Go back to base. You're going to pick up the next group of people. And hopefully, hopefully, we can save the world with just under a year left. Much better than like the 15 days I had on my uh, previous playthrough. Um, I really thought we could have done this quicker than, than this, um, way quicker than this, but I said, I think there was probably five or 600 days of the gun type where nothing was happening because I left the game running uh, when I was doing bits and pieces and um, didn't realize that my MDRs, when I reloaded the game, had stopped mining because they do that sometimes. Uh, so we ran out of goods so nothing was being produced so yeah if they had been mining i think we'd have been done with like a year or maybe even two years left okay
And Pop. Director, everything is ready for launch. Send our best specialists to operate the laser system. Together, we can stop the catastrophe. Activate the laser system. We need three control. Oh no, do we have enough control units? Uh, let's find out. Boom. I'm going to pick the. Was it just generic cargo truck? Go into base. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pick generic car cargo truck. That'll do. Uh, you can take all of those. That's fine. Uh, we want a level three run. So we're going to pick uh, Jonathan, Godon, and Nicholas. And the scientist is going to be Kim. Urgent contract available. You know what? Yes. Why not? Why not? Just get the bots doing something. Oh, you don't have any um fuel in you. Hmm. Come on, people, let's go. I love it, they don't have to send any food or anything with them. You know, it's just like, yeah, we're going to go on a 30 day expedition on the moon surface with no food or water with us. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the colonists are really taking their time, aren't they? <laughs> Mind you, it's not loading the... Um... Control units. Unless it's done there already. Oh, it's three needed. I guess he did it really quickly. Okay, here you go. River. Away you go. Meow. Look at those wheels bounce and wiggle and... Oh yeah. Oh my god, it just simply disappeared. <gasps> Another one. It must be the Bermuda Triangle or the M Moon Muda triangle or something i don't know i don't know but anyway we are going to um successfully blat a comet or asteroid or thing out of the space and not into the earth i really hope they know what they're doing we only hired them yesterday i really hope they know what they're doing Attention all departments. The launch of the laser beam was successful. The jet thrust on the asteroid's surface changed its course, and now Earth is no longer threatened. Congratulations, colleagues. We have done a tremendous job and saved humanity. You can return to your regular tasks. End of message. Awesome. Three cheers for our director. I never doubted the professionalism for a second. Who's one complaining about not wanting to ride a wheel? A wheel wouldn't have helped here. In any case, as for Ledger, the director conducted an excellent operation. Yay. The director saved us all without a doubt, but you all did great too, colleagues. Everyone did an excellent job.
And that's it. We have won. You can continue to play the game. You can do whatever you want to do. You can make more contracts. You can do more things. You've got all the POIs on the surface of the moon uh, to unlock. If we under here, you've got all these these uh, little hidden question marks and things. You go around, get them all done, and get everything sorted, and clear the moon out completely, and collect all the resources, and make your bajillions and millions and millions of space bucks. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because... I feel like I'm done. I feel like I am done. I have very much enjoyed playing through the crust and I cannot wait to see what happens in the future with it. So we'll do this one here and uh, we'll come back when uh, there's something new. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.